Welcome to the narrative, Cayman 6. Hi, good day to everyone. All right. Well, um, when, when, when I see images of you, the images, I, I, because I went in and I listened to uh, your music and saw videos and stuff, and it, it does not match with that innocent um, somebody's mother, somebody's son that I'm seeing on the screen right now. Um, <laughs> you know, you're just this innocent little person looking at me. <laughs> um, and it, does, it doesn't jive with your music, which I, I listened to your lyrics, some pretty strong content, some pretty violent content. Tell me about the, 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 the genesis of your music. How did you come to that style of, and I only learned um, a few days ago that it's called uh, Gunman Lyrics. Correct me if I'm wrong there. Um, how did you get into that genre? Tell me about that. No, well, that is the kind of music people like really like to listen, like this generation of people. And I, of course, didn't start this genre of music. Eh? I was always listening to this before I even start music. I mean, start music eight, eight, eight or nine months now. That music was out before me. You know, I don't understand how you now as I started singing. You know, if it's a popularity or more people listening to it, what had the place on me right now? So, what I really know. But of, of all the genres that you could have chosen, you said you, you, you sort of uh, grew up listening to that and, and it's what is resonating mm -hmm. with the young people now. But in terms of making a personal choice as to which direction you wanted to go as an artist, um, how did you decide on, on, on that particular genre? And is it actually called Gunman Lyrics? Is that actually a genre now? No, no. I, I first time I really actually hear more of that. Oh, uh, well, I, I, dance probably, hall, I was probably just... misinformed. Okay, dance hall. Yeah, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just dance hall. And, and do you write your own lyrics? Do you write that stuff? Yeah, yeah. Mm. But it seems like it's pretty violent, though, you have to admit. I, I heard stuff about splitting head open and, and shooting and, and killing and stuff. Pretty violent. Yeah, dude. but yeah, but it's what well, I should say. But it's not me alone doing them kind of thing. It's not me. It's not me started this. This going on before me. So mm. I don't understand how now it became uh, like such a big problem. Uh, people do well, the artists uh, standing up against artists to come in the country and them kind of thing. Because I but think Vibes Cartel and then used to sing all kind of lyrics long time. Who used to say again? Vibes Cartel, Mavado. Oh, okay. So I and, and, and so, was the most vulgar music long time. Vulgar or violent? Vulgar, because I know that there, there, there was. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. But I think a lot of attention is on you now and the music that you produce because of those incidents. Um, you have been linked to to uh, the gang membership. Um, I, I was told that you so are part. Is, are you? Uh, were you a part of a gang at some point? Are no, you part of a gang now? No, it's not no gang thing. It's just music. It's just entertainment. It's just what people want to hear. But they tried to kill you people? twice. Yeah, there were two attempts on your life. What's that about? How how, how did that come about? Why are people trying to kill I would you? Say, I would say that is more than music. That is more than just music. Mm. Because it had to be, it had to source in the, in the area of jealousy. Day. You understand? Because all the time that music was going on before me, the Bakwe used to sing all kind of music. Young stars that sing all kind of music. The artists that in the industry right now that sing more disrespectful tunes than me. I understand and that will be happening to them. I'm not saying that I'm watching that, you know, but <clears throat> I would say it's jealousy because it's not me alone doing this. That is why I just don't understand. It's not me alone singing this kind of music. But jealousy to the point where they're trying to kill you because twice there were two attempts on your life. In one instance, people around you, the guys who were rolling with you, were injured. Uh, someone, another person who um, in that circle was killed. An innocent lady in her home was killed in, in, in a stray bullet that got her in the head um, when you were attacked on the highway coming from Piaco Airport. Uh, 
all of this, it, it is hard not to believe that all of this is associated with some sort of uh, gang affiliation or gang involvement. And it, what, I was, what I understand is that you are part of a gang that is now known as Six, that is a breakaway from a huge gang that was operating in Port of Spain um, called the, the Rust or something. And one segment became Seven and one segment became Six and you are part of Six. Is that why people are trying to kill you? Because of your involvement in, in, in that group? Because of the area I am from. I have no involvement in no gang-related activities. I'm an artist, I'm an entertainer. You understand? I drop three songs. A positive song, you understand? A gangster song and a girl, and a, and a girl song. You okay, so you, so, you, so you actually did something that you would you would, would classify yes, as, 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 a, as a positive so I'm song. Checking for all the crowds now, but you know, just singing one general music because that is what everybody's saying. So, why nobody, how come nobody never highlight none of my positive songs? And I have gay songs too, yeah, people hardly highlight that because it catches them, they like it, yeah, but nobody gay never so, highlight Did you say gay, gay, gay songs? Gay songs? Girl songs, girl, like. Female. Oh, 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 girl, oh, oh, songs about oh, so, songs celebrating the female parts of the of, of ladies. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I, I think maybe because you 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 manage to uh, put the, the, the in, in your violent songs. I suppose that struck people more because of the intensity of it. Because no, I'm, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not lying for you. Okay, I when when I heard about you, I, I went to my son, he's twelve, and I said, "Do you know K-Man Six? And he said, "No," but he's twelve, so he probably wouldn't know you. I, and he said, "No," and he said, "Mommy, who's K-Man Six? Who's K-Man Six? And I said, "Well, if you don't know, that's okay," because I wanted to make sure that he did not have exposure to anyone who's singing about splitting heads open and so and you have to you have to appreciate that that sort of thing even if you sing 10 positive songs the intensity of the violence that is described and depicted in the music where you sing about violence can be shocking to some people don't you think so yes but i i would say i would say it might have but i, I don't give that the right for people to to be, you know, criticizing me and to, and want to want to stop the, my forms and means of, you know, surviving. Mm -hmm. I don't find that is enough, you know, like information or there is not enough evidence to to victimize me, you know, because I just do good things too. It's not like it's only bad thing. I am more good music than than violent music. More positive Sing. music. What, 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 what would you say is your most positive, one of your most positive songs? Drop, what would you say? Drop, drop me a few lines right here. Can you? Well, people know if you see you better than them. You know, think you hate it, they better think it again. You understand? Mm. All right. In our free life, better watch everything. So I tell them this. Uh, People, no one see a better than that. That's so, one of my first songs. That is my second song, to be exact. Mm. But most underrated song. Uh, so, so, you, so you think that the, the market is what is is gravitating, and 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 the songs where you sing about violence is resonating. So, you started with with positive songs. Did you gravitate to increasingly violent lyrics because that is what the market wanted? Is that why you did that? No, I didn't. I didn't really actually start it, but as I said, that was my second song. You mm -hmm. know, you understand? So, I just. Reaching for all the different crowds. I know just singing one tune, I know just singing Godman tune alone, and I just you know, focusing on this crowd alone because I don't know if the entire a good popula po population that is watching me, and I have a good, you know, with the supporters. I know it's not just sing for one people because the rest of people don't want to listen, so I sing all kind of music, but I drop an EP, seven songs, two Godman tune, a girl song. You understand? And the rest is conscious. Guess what? Guess which one make the most views? 
You understand? That is, that is the ones making most money on my YouTube right now. You understand? Running up the most views. You understand? And 3 million views again. So much. You understand? I just... I really... Seem to want to pick no side. I just want to, you know? If three things going on and you're seeing one avenue is to get the most money. You understand? And that is what I want. I just want surviving. You know? When I was young, I was arrested. I spent a little time in the prison. You understand? At a young age. I come out of the jail. I, I had in, I, my intentions wasn't to be in and out of no prison or there. So I changed my life. You understand? I changed my life. Mm. Started with music. Even though it don't matter, as I say, the music, the lyrics are the same. That is not enough to victimize me, to, to, to stop me, to want to, to, to end my career, to want me to stop music because I don't like sing that kind of genre of music alone. I just sing for everybody. Mm. And I, I don't know, I, I don't know if people want to stop your career, but I think, for instance, in the situation here in, in Grenada right now, the conversation that is happening, you know, we have a problem with this. And you know, Grenada has always been known as a peaceful, quiet country with low crime yes, rates. Yes. And we've no, noticed... And we've noticed uh, an increase in, in, in gun violence, in the gun culture. And so people are concerned that an artist who celebrates and promotes the gun culture coming in to perform, particularly on the eve of our independence, might not be the best thing to do. Now, this is where they're coming from, um, based on my understanding of all the conversations that have been happening nationally on this. And there's also concern that the people who are trying to kill you may try to kill you when you come to Grenada and that there'll be collateral damage. People will get hurt and killed as happened in Trinidad when people were trying to kill you and others were the ones who got shot and killed. How do you respond to that? No, well, I believe that is nonsense. <clears throat> but first off, in no country I ever went to perform, I had a good number of performances since I was an artist, although I'm in the, arti uh, although I'm the business a little while, no, not, not too long. I have a lot of performances I went and in none of those instances, no time ever, no country I ever went in. I never promote, I never promote no violence. I never encourage no violence. You understand? Every time I reach anywhere I go in, it's only positivity. You understand? My fans, because my fans and them, when, when, your, when your fans come into you, they come into you to say, hey, K man, you, I, you, I, I love you, I really love your music and thing. They mean come in to say, hey, hey, hey like, 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 do something, K man, I like, shoot up some me, or shoot up some me. Never in my music, I never did even say, I never want say in my, none in my songs and them, for no man to pick up no gun and go so, or for no, for no man to do this, or for no paste to run no wire, or for me to rub so and rub so, I never one day, like, do that. And I sound so it's not like I, you know, for the promoting no violence, you understand? I just sing good, catchy music for people like, although it might be violent, you understand? I never promote no violence. I never went nowhere to push no bad energy with nobody, with no gang. I never went nowhere and enter no gang and, you know, them, them so. Mm. So, so, so you, you, you're saying that you, you are misunderstood. You are misunderstood, yes, and even, even so. um, stories that you that you have had gang involvement that is totally fabricated, totally not true. You said you went to prison before. Yes. Can I ask why? What it was about? Well, I was charged with possession of arms and ammunition. Mm. So, but you were not involved in in, in, in a gang, but you had guns no, and well, you know how we know how. And I, I've seen I've seen videos I've seen videos associated with you with people you know a guy pulled out a gun and he's like you know going and waving the gun around and stuff. You see those images when you look at stuff around you. You ever thought of maybe no, well, cleaning it up video, a bit? Any video that any video that is seen anything resembling a firearm is merely perhaps I can assure you. Any video you ever see any thing resembling a firearm around me is was video shoot. I don't have anything to do with video shoot. Other than that, it is, I just never have no part of the and no kind of violence, no kind of activity. 
So, but but you, you 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 did get in trouble with the law for real guns. So you you don't get in trouble for props. You get in trouble for real well, that, guns that, and that, real ammunition. As I say, you understand. No matter what, no matter what they say, if if the police, I I don't really want to talk about that, but the police does know where they must be on. <clears throat> if you had to speak to, and I suppose you will get to because they may watch this. Um, Speak to the national security officials in Grenada who are now mulling over and contemplating, I understand, whether or not they should allow you into the country. What would you say to them? Speaking to the prime minister, our prime minister is our minister of national security. Um, what would you say to him and his national security advisor and the police about you coming to Grenada to perform? Well, I would, I would just let him know that to do that everybody have a story, you understand? They don't judge nobody because it's God who gave man a chance, you understand? I never went in no country to push no violence. I never went, no time you never see I perform and it's gone shot in that country and never see that no way. Only when I come back here, whoever don't like me or whoever I go here, that has nothing to do. I not come in, I not go in and bring what's going on in Trinidad on an airplane to come to me like with me. That is not my intention. I know that I bring my problems to me like with me. I come in to perform good music to people who request to see me. You understand? And I but come in to push me violence. I come in to, to, to get money to see about me, to, to, to you know? Mm. But you didn't bring your problems to the highway in Trinidad when the, the problems came to you when an innocent person died. And I think that is fueling the That was my country. That was, and, that was not in our next country. You understand? But, no matter what happens to me here, you understand? That shouldn't give a country right to see what will, see what will go on if I come in them country. Because I have been in other countries to perform before. Because in, no in, in October, because that, that, that I think one of the attempts on your life happened when, when you were coming back in from Barbados. Uh, had yeah, you been coming back from a performance? Yeah, but mm. that never happened in the country. No, I know, I know, I know. There are no reports that there was any violence while you were in Barbados. But I, I also, I saw a newspaper. Right, that, that is all I guess. That is all I, that, that is all it really, <clears throat> well, that is all is really the point. That is all. I just trying to get to everybody, you understand? I will not be entering anybody's country to promote any violence. Why? The eyes on me like I is the suspect, like it's my fault these things happen. Since those two attempts on your life, how has your life changed though? Have you had to do things differently, more security? Um, yeah. Yes. Uh, do you live in fear? Are you are you afraid that you will die? Not really, not really, because uh, I know the right means and ways to survive. Oh, how 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 do you survive now? How do you how do you ensure your safety now that you've had those two attempts on your life? Mm, just make sure anywhere I go, I have security because it's only when I leave my comfort zone them things going on with me. You know, so I just, I just, all I, all I just have to do is put security in place for when I go in anyway. And that's it. So the security concerns that Grenada has, the people of Grenada has now, people are worried that, okay, we have had two killings here in Grenada last year um, where people, it, it, there's a connection between people coming from Trinidad to do this in one instance, at least coming from another island. So, so people coming in, our borders are porous. People can just pop in here on a speedboat, do anything and get out again. You know, by the time the police shows up, they're already halfway back down to, to Trinidad. Um, are your promoters, have they discussed with you any additional security? How will they secure you and yes, right. the people here, <laughs> given, given that people are out to get you? Well, high security measures have been taken, which was which I have been informed by the promoters. Do you? I saw a newspaper headline, a local newspaper here, saying that uh, your music 
is linked to violence at a secondary school. There's some violent incidents at one of our secondary schools here. And they are making this connection between your music and what happened. Do you have a message for young people? Yes, I have a message for young people. My message for the young people is, you have your own brain, by all your own brain, the youths are tomorrow. These streets done nothing for, for all the youths. You understand? My advice to all the youths is to stay in school and and do the right thing to see for their the passes to come out and do good by find a work and work for their money because these streets don't have nothing. Because I tell you, if I didn't become an artist, I might have still be on the streets and I might not have nothing. Now I tell you. It has no work that be gained, we are no streets, no free money to be gained, we are no streets, understand? As a youth, you have to use your head as well too. If a man, if you, if you go mad, if a man tell you to jump off a cliff, you will jump off a cliff. Understand? You have to use in your head. Think about the right thing, understand? And don't take chain up from nobody, no lyrics, I don't believe no lyrics. Understand? It's supposed to be controlling no you. Understand this day and age. So, to all the youths, boy, do the right thing and go study no bad man and no no wrong activities and things because I don't have nothing for the way. You know how you know where it is to get up in the morning and to walk outside and you need to have a dollar in your pocket. You need to know you're getting something to eat. You study, you, know, you could ask for something. That is street life. That is not life for no youth. Do you, uh, let's just backtrack a little, because I'm interested in how, how you started. I know you, you said you had a run-in with the law, you were living uh, the life on the streets and stuff. Then you got into music. You said you tried to turn your life around. Uh, tell me about the beginnings of you um, becoming an artist. What, what's the history there of you becoming an artist? Well, I first, I first realized my potential in music while I was serving time. I understand at the age 17, I was arrested, charged for possession of arms and ammunition. At the age 18, I was convicted and sentenced to 38 months. During that time, I realized, you know, that I have a potential for music, but I didn't really see myself pursuing like music because I always had in my head, you would have need certain things and you would have to have, you know, be a certain way to first start to even start about this music business now. So I never had in my head that I would go out there and pursue my music because I had no help. You understand? Know I decided you I, mean, I wasn't working no way, I decided you gonna get locked up. You understand? Know so I did not you know I didn't really wasn't really focused. All I I see my potential. All I know what I'm capable of. I just always to just do that to cut my time in the prison. So when I came out now that's how thing it is. When I came out, it was Wako and Youngster, right? I did everybody that's like me in a gallery and men freestyle, you know? But before I did not come out, I bought some lyrics from a, from a friend and thing. So in that even you know, he said, but one my soul let it freestyle, you know? So I go on down here, so now, I go on down, they call me. I start to freestyle for them. They see Wako take off glasses, so. I said, go on, put on your clothes and let it go up in the studio you now. That was March the 5th, 2020. 2023, so you, so you were a very new artist. Yes. But getting a lot of attention. You're getting a lot of attention. Um, even it's just a few months, really. Yeah. 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 And, and so where do you see your music going from here? How, 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 what, what sort of development path are you seeing for yourself and your music? Well, I see myself in general far because I know to myself and everybody around me just tell me, boy, you have real potential. Just stay focused, stay safe, stay alive, and the music will reach real far. So I have high hopes and I believe in myself that my music could carry me real far. You understand? In this life. Uh, you, you, we just talked about, you know, where you want to see your music going. But... Uh... 
can we get a, a commitment from you that you would tone down the violence and that you would use your talent to promote? You said you have girl music, um, girl music. You have uh, positive stuff. You just dropped a few lines earlier in the, uh, in the show, and it was all about, you know, um, upliftment and, and stuff like that and, and being conscious of yourself. And so can we, between the narrative, which is a show that a lot of people listen to, and Cayman Six. Yeah. Can we enter into a little pact that you would ease up on the violence yes, no. stuff? Someone's knocking on your door. I, I hope it's it's somebody. You have security at your door, right? Yeah, you have yeah. security. Okay. <laughs> Someone's knocking. Um yeah, can we can 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 I get a pact from you? Can we get a pact going? Well well <laughs> right now. Right now, everybody on me. I uh, really, uh, really for the fight. Uh, I, you know, I, I, everybody on me, the police, everybody on me for the lyrics are singing. I just find it's just too much, you know. So I could really tone up and dial down on all the music. I could assure you that 2024 will be a positive year, you know, for my fans and for my music. There's up upliftment because. The music I singing, people fighting me to come in the country and think it didn't make no sense of doing that and I can't make no money, you know? Mm. Yeah, so I, 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 th I think because the, 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 the Caribbean, the world, we're very concerned now about the direction. It's a troubling time in the world. Uh, the last time the world was that troubled might have been around the, the 70s, late 70s, early 80s. You're too young to even know that. You probably weren't even born yet. Um, and and yeah. there's a vibe in the world now. Like, you, you know, there, there's this undercurrent, and I think that people are worried across the board. So, um, and I think I don't, you, your talent, you, you, you have talent, people are gravitating towards you, and you have great talent. And so I don't think you should stop singing. You should sing more and, and offer the world more of Cayman 6. But while doing yes. that, you want to be a, a, a positive force in the world and um, someone whom I, I can have my son listen to your songs. <laughs> when he gets a little older. Now, my last question to you, though. Um, if you do come to perform, will you be performing any of the violent songs about you know, shooting and splitting heads open? Uh, no, I, will, I think so. I think I'll be performing in here because that's why you're fighting my dog. That's why you're in the, in the country because I believe that my music you know, influencing people, influencing people in a bad way. So I think I'll be coming to perform any violent music. Hmm. All right. Do you know who tried to kill you? No, it was it was nowhere. It was nowhere. So like up to now, is the police in the police not investigating? Are the police investigating? Yeah, the police investigating, but you know I wouldn't be able to know any information them get. But do you have any idea, like, okay, the, 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 these men might be able to get me, or these men are in a rival group, and, and, and you know, or, the, or these men have been yes, really talking actually, bad about yeah. my songs or something? Really, actually, it really mainly had to do with where I'm from, too, you know. Yeah. When you say yes, where, where are you from, what, what do you mean? What, where are you from? I'm from St. Paul Street, Paul Just this okay. thing, man, how the area was a long time, and... Yeah. I know but that, singing, but that doesn't sound like enough for people to actually want. I mean, people pulled out guns and fired live ammunition. People died. That don't seem to be enough to, like, what, you know, you live in an no, area but, that had a no, bad but, reputation, but music doesn't seem to be enough for a man to want to pull out a gun and want to do me anything. Lyrics. Huh? The lyrics doesn't, I, yeah, I mean, you know, it, it, it's, it's not, you know, we had, you had the East Coast, West Coast violence in the United States among the rappers and people were killed as well. Um, but, but there's a lot more, is this, is this something similar? Is that what's going on here with you? Similar to what was happening with the, with, with, um, is it PDD and, and, and um, B.I. Biggie and, and, and all of these people back then? If it was just see that was going on back then, I, then I would say, yeah. Mm. If it was just like rivals, like like rivals, just not liking how I elevated them, I would say. 
So you think it might be rival performers who are coming after you? No, I, I wouldn't know who would be coming after me, but mm. right. you know, I would just say for the people that I sure don't like me. I wouldn't know for sure if it's them who would be coming would be coming after after me. But you have enemies. You, what you're saying is you have enemies. No, I don't have enemies. Personally, no. You understand, but in anything I do, in anything I do, there's are people that, that, that doesn't like you. You understand? You go have competition. Yeah. Mm. Anything I do. If it's trying to look good, if it's music, if it's elevating itself, you must have opposition and competition. Or even not, not might not even be a competition to you, you know, but a man in your own mind might feel like it, like, like he could compete with you. And then when he can't, he decides to end you. Uh, again, I'm not really sure, and I can't really say for sure, but I would, if, it, if it's summed up then. Okay, man six, I want to thank you so much for joining me on the narrative. And I certainly wish uh, you and the promoters and your manager uh, the, the best of luck in, in, in the future. Uh, thank you so much for joining me on the narrative and sharing your story. And stay safe where you are right now in Trinidad. Please do stay safe, young man. Thank you for being on. Yes, of course. Yes, no problem. All right.